Hi, Dave. Hey. How are you? Doing good. How are you? I'm good. I'm Dr. Carver, everyone. This is Optical Dave. <laughs> That's Hi. catchy. I like it. <laughs> so today we're going to come together and we're going to talk about the new X lens, progressive lens. It's a new low line bifocal that's out. Yes. Um, I have my first bifocal. I've had mm -hmm. it for about three months now. How are you liking it? I'm loving it. Um, it's fantastic. So I'm glad I have you here because I have some questions so we can educate okay. everybody else about it. Let's go. So we're all grown up, aren't we? Yes, ma'am. We have all graduated to the adult world. Adult world. <laughs> I love it. We're smart. These are smart lenses. These are smart lenses. So this is an X lens. Yes, it is. Now, the one cool thing about the X lens that I was excited about is, is how I hear how it's so easy to adapt to. Yes. What makes this lens so easy to adapt to? What makes it different? The engineering. Okay. The way, the way it's designed compared to the, uh, the standard lens. The technology they use for this is called manograms. Or okay. Manograms. Uh, what is in sense? They've taken your prescription and they've actually condensed it to small micros uh, prescriptions. Okay. Just small increments to put it in your lens to make it such an easy transition from your distance to your reading. Right. Uh, your standard lens has pretty much the same technology. It's just they have bigger chunks. So right. those chunks are you just get big chunks and it's kind of hard. To find that one little call, what they call the sweet spot. Sweet spot, okay. It's hard to find it. The new one, the nanograms are so small, you don't see a difference. It's just a smooth transition from top mm -hmm. to bottom. That's one thing that I've noticed. And, the, and another thing is our world is changing. It's not the same as it was 10 years ago or 15 right. years ago. Um, we're a lot of electronics, a lot of, of what I call the hug zone, which is um, your um, your iPhones, your iPads, uh -huh. your um, notebooks, Kindles, computer, um, everything is sort of in that zone. And then you have the distance. You know, like last night I was at my kid's soccer game looking at my, soccer, my um, phone uh -huh. and then looking up at the soccer game back and forth. Not once did I have an issue with a blur zone or transitioning from that distance to up close. Of course you're not, because of that transition we talked about was in nanograms. Right. Um, not only that, but it is edge to edge clarity, high definition. So as you're looking from the corner to one corner of your mm -hmm. lens, here to there, nothing goes out of focus. Yeah. Well, that's one issue that we've had with patients in the past is that they can't turn their eyes over to the left or to the right without having blur zones. And I'll right. tell you with these, there are no blur zones. I mean, it's pretty cool that you can look left and right, and I can't even tell that I have a bifocal in my glasses. So that's a pretty cool upgrade too. Now you just said digital. Mm -hmm. These are digital lenses. So yes. what's the difference between a regular lens and a digital lens? Now I can tell you how I always explain it to patients is it's like walking into the back of Best Buy and you have all the TVs in the back. Okay. You can actually see the differences in picture from the standard lower grade TVs to the new high HK, whatever they're called now. Yeah. And it's a difference in picture. Is that similar to the way that the glasses work? Yes, it is. Um, it, everything gets, the image is just a lot sharper and a lot clearer for you. Um, like you, the, the TVs was a, a perfect example. Mm -hmm. um, you have the TV side by side, you can actually see the difference. If you had the two lenses, side by side, standard and then digital, if you were able to put them with the same prescription mm -hmm. and you put them on and off, between it, you will see the difference. difference. Absolutely. When I put my glasses on, and I don't have to wear glasses all the time for distance vision, but when I put them on, I could tell a huge difference. It's almost like, like you said, high def. And it took me a second actually to adjust to that, but it is mm -hmm. fantastic. I mean, the clarity of vision, especially for me driving at night, I see a big improvement with night driving. That's the anti glare. Okay. That's anti glare. The new Sapphire yes, 360. Yes, I got the 360 on these. Yes. yes. The new Sapphire 360. Well, let me start with the old anti glare, the standard anti glare. Um, yes, it's good. It does have an uh, anti scratch on them, so it's protecting your lenses from being scratched. Correct. Um, but when your ocular center is pretty much where you get the best focal. Okay. So you're looking straight at the lens, you get everything nice and clear for you. Uh -huh. And once again, off to the side, kind of like with the progressive, you look off to the side, yeah, it's still clear, you get the protection, but it's not as clear as your central vision. Correct. So with the new Sapphire 360, it's the entire length width of the lens. Good. You get the same clarity. You The studies have been done. I believe there was a study done where they actually they studied the muscles and the flexing of your muscles of your uh, pupils. Mm -hmm. So as they had the standard anti glare and they looked side to side, you see more straining focal. Whereas the Sapphire 360, 
it wasn't much strain. Right, so, and it covers glare from lots of different angles, hence the name 360, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. and the cool thing I like about no glare coating, not only is increased vision, um, night driving, and even daytime it increases vision, but that glare at night's pretty bad, but reflections, I mean, there's reflections everywhere you go, yep. fluorescent lights, computers, iPhones, um, so that anti-glare really, really helps with that from the front and the back. Yes. Which ultimately reduces eye strain. So really, really good for computer users, correct? Yes. So this leads me into another thing. Blue, blue light, light. light filters. Yes. yes. So everybody, if you Google blue light right now, what we're going to find is studies are coming out. And these are new studies. These are studies that are actually going to continue to, to go on and they're going to find more and more information. But extended blue light um, use will actually or can cause early macular degeneration. Now that's when your center of vision actually starts to break down and you lose that, that, that sweet spot, that center vision, and it's really devastating to the vision. So if we can do anything to help our eyes and keep our eyes healthy, why not do it? Why not do it? I mean, I, and this is with for anybody, even kids. Mm -hmm. um, digital strain, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure most of uh, our patients who have kids are on some sort of digital device during the day, whether it's for school or at home. Um, so it does, it protects those eyes because they're young and they're going to be using digital devices a lot more than we will in a lot longer time. So having that blue light coating to help absorb some of that is a really cool. We are in a digital world, so why not have digital, digital lenses to adapt to the digital world? Absolutely. The world is changing. Time is changing. Everything is. So we need to, to adapt to it and... Um, Push forward. Go. Push forward, yes. Well, I'm absolutely in love with my lenses. I actually have a second pair on order. Do you? Yes. Got me a pair of LaFont frames. <laughs> well, you know, I got to have different glasses for different outfits. Well, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. No. <laughs> well, I appreciate you spending some time with me this afternoon and, and giving us some good information about the new X-Series. All right. Well, awesome. We'll be back with you shortly. We'll talk about something else. Transitions. There's a new um, transitions that out now that we're going to see new colors. Yeah, that is. Yeah. It's actually been launched, but it has been launched. We'll but we have some on one. order. We're gonna try. I'm excited. You had some on order. I do. Yeah, red. This is full of secrets, <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, thank you, Dave. I appreciate it. You're welcome. All right. Bye bye. Y'all take care.